Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It's Thursday, December 20th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and we are now just five days away until Christmas. Let's begin with an item in TV history. This is one of my all-time favorite series. It debuted on this day in 1979, and its name is Knott's Landing. Now, we all know Knott's Landing, of course, as a spinoff of Dallas. It ran for 13 and a half seasons. It produced 344 episodes, and it is the fifth longest running scripted drama in the history of television. Would you like to take a stab at what the top four are? They are Gunsmoke and Law and Order are tied at number one. Then we have Lassie, ER, and Knott's Landing. Right behind Knott's Landing is Law and Order SVU, which by season end will move ahead of Knott's Landing. Now, here is something you may not know. Initially, Knott's Landing was conceived as sort of a warm and fuzzy type family drama. CBS wanted something flashier, so they put it on hold. They put Dallas first. Once Dallas took off, they decided it is time to do Knott's Landing. So they took Gary Ewing, who was the black sheep son of Miss Ellie and Jock, and they took Gary and his soon-to-be rebride Valine, and they moved them to Knott's Landing, and all hell broke loose. If I was living in that cul-de-sac, I would have moved. Let's go to current day television. I have the news of renewals on two cable series. The first is scripted drama Psych on USA. It was tweeted last night that the cable network has picked it up for an eighth season, and that will place Psych in a tie with Monk as the longest running scripted drama in the history of USA. To date, USA has picked up Burn Notice, Covered Affairs, Necessary Roughness, Royal Pains, Suits, and White Collar, and it has canceled Common Law, Fairly Legal, and Political Animals. Now let's head to MTV. They have picked up Catfish, the TV show, for a second season. This focuses on the world of digital dating, and it follows individuals who date digitally and ultimately meet in real person. Now, I find this very fascinating. I've been married almost 25 years, so I'm not dating anyone digitally, but I have friendships online. And one of those friendships that has really morphed into a long-term friendship is with Douglas Pucci, who was very prominent on TV Media Insights, and I will be seeing him tomorrow. So there is something to this whole digital thing. Over at BBC America, they have announced that its current series of specials called The Nerdist has been officially upgraded to regularly scheduled series status for 2013. On NBC, the network has picked up eight episodes of a new game show from Sean Hayes, who, of course, we know from Will and Grace. It is called Hollywood Game Night. It will focus on a group of contestants that are kind of put into a party-like setting with various celebrities, and they compete for cash. On Cartoon Network, they have announced the start date for its upcoming new live-action sketch comedy called The Incredible Crew. It will open on Thursday, January 24th. Cartoon Network continues to look for live action programming. It still, of course, is the home of animation, but it wants to do live action. Now, let's head to some options on the air tonight. We have the two-hour season finale of The X Factor on Fox. Now, I've said this before. I will say it again. This is a show that does well. It has been picked up for a third season, but it is not the breakout hit that Fox and Simon Cowell were expecting, and it was certainly not as strong as The Voice on NBC, but it did do well enough to warrant a third season renewal. We have two original holiday specials tonight. We have a CMA Country Christmas on ABC, and we have a White House uh, Christmas. I guess it takes you uh, behind the scenes at the White House on NBC. Now, just so you know, our final newsletter of this year will be this coming Monday, and I will list our top 10 picks for the best in television in 2012 on Monday. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 20th day of December. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Signing off, Mark Rose.